Hello and welcome to Factorio, no belt, no robot. I'm Acretio, and in this episode we will continue. Why? Oh, okay, that's fine. In this episode we will continue to strive for our uh, power armor. But we need processing units and elect electric engines. We have some processing units, but I think the way to uh, go forward with that is to make sure that we have more green circuit production. So let's see what we can do. First of all, let's see what we actually got when it comes to green circuit production. Because I don't know exactly what we have. I know we need to improve it, but how much? With what? How? Why? How? Yeah, something like that. But uh, let's continue and uh, see what we have. Oh, yeah, we have this setup. I know it's not ideal, but I don't mind that much actually. It's uh, it's better setup than having no setup at all. Oh, but we don't get enough enough uh, copper. That's fair enough, I think. What I'm thinking is maybe move it a bit to the north and have another another belt go over here. Let's see. Yeah, this takes two chests, two full chests. So maybe do uh, some more uh, some more rails over here and then have one drop off and one collecting area of this. Let's see if if that is actually possible to do in a good way. Of course it's possible to do it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Maybe we shouldn't worry too much about that. Oh, I messed this up. Uh, let's see, one there, then we can go and then we can, oh rid of that. There we go. This is where I want the rails. But yeah, I forgot. That is not what we need. What we need is power. Uh, and the power, having a look, we are not able to charge, fully charge the uh, accumulators. As a matter of fact, the accumulators run out before the solar runs, runs out. And now we have, well, we have some production, but that's basically for the laser turrets, which is the most important thing. But we need more solar panels. So let's go and do that before we do anything else. I mean, even the power armor, even whatever, can wait a bit. Um, because this is probably the most important thing in any factory in Factorio. If you don't have power, you can't do anything. Well, you can build things manually, but who wants to do that really? Isn't that the whole idea of the game? To avoid building things manually? Can I create blueprints? Yes, I can. That is actually pretty good, even for this. I know that we don't have any robots but I could at least I could do everything and then just uh, plunk down the stuff manually let's not worry about accumulators at the moment but the question is how do we want to oh actually let's grab a few accumulators the question is how do we want to oh not up here come on there we go. How do we want to uh, create these power units or these solar panels? And I think I will use the same basic setup as I'm using in uh, another world I'm playing, which is, let's see, do we have enough space? Let's start on this side of the track, which is one, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Good. 
Okay. Um, yeah, let's just go over here, do that. So that's the basic ID. And then we have medium electric poles. Oh, let's do it like this. We have, oh, not over here. We want to go a bit further. There we go, there we go, there we go. And we have another set. Let's grab that. Okay, so this is one square. We basically, oh, we, I'm seeing that we don't have space for it, but we basically want three of those squares. Uh, three horizontally and three vertically. And as I said, we don't have the space, but we can build as much as possible right now and then uh, exp expand when we have the possibility of doing that. Or making a blueprint and uh, fix it, build it automatically in the future, something. Come on. Oh yeah, this is really slow grabbing the stone. So let's do it. And we get those. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep it at that. Get that tree down, and then we want uh, three more to the right, I think. Is this right? It have to be. No, it's not. We want to go one step further to the right. Oh, I was one, uh, one square too high. That's why it didn't work out. There we go, and we have, uh, come on, we have more stuff, okay, power poles are done, we have our solar panels, we need our accumulators as well, actually let's get rid of this blueprint again, uh, accumulators, Let's place those in the corner. I mean, we there's no reason not to build them. Maybe we won't be able to use them fully right now, but we will in the future, definitely. So let's do this. And then we have the same setup here. And let's place the accumulators in the corner again. Ideally, we should place lamps as well, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, simply because, well, first of all, it's uh, a setup where we really can't have lamps, I think. Or we can, but we don't really need it. And secondary, I don't know if we're going to use the... Uh oh. Yeah, those, they aren't connected to the grid. Maybe I should do that as well. Uh, I don't know if they're using too much power of the lamps. Okay, do that to connect everything to the grid. Oh yes, now we have a little bit extra power. Of course, we still are missing loads of stuff. So let's get the next, uh, the next square built, which is basically the same except that in this case we uh, oh, we have the power poles in the bottom center uh, yeah and then we have to have the accumulators let's do them top left it isn't really important where the accumulator goes as long as they go somewhere uh, in the same place for all of this. Oh, come on. There we go. Some more accumulators. And 
find another square. This should be a boost uh, of power, I think. I mean, it is a lot of power that we don't have yet, so hopefully it's a big boost. Well, hopefully it's a boost at least. This allows us to go between this power, uh, power square, so whatever we want to call it. I don't even know what to call it. But we have fairly big squares. Oh, actually, let's... No, this is the right way to go. And then we go this way. We have some space to go between them. We have power lines going. Uh, let's see, if this is top left, if we rotate it, this becomes bottom left. So the idea is that we should be able to rotate the finished blueprint without uh, having any problems with it. And I think we have succeeded. But that remains to be seen, of course. Oh, come on. This goes there. This, I don't really care what I go. Uh, and then we go for another. Why didn't I check how much power we had before doing this? I should have. Well, it's fairly easy to do, actually. Since we do have the... Uh, it's only one power pole. And we have six more solar panels. Let's not worry about placing those. This is actually pretty good. Okay, let's check now. So if we cut that, we are creating 13 megawatts. If we connect it again, then we are creating 26 megawatts. So basically we have doubled the power production. Oh yes, and that can be seen definitely. And the accumulators are being charged. Oh, this is the accumulators. Wait, oh yeah, they are being charged. Let's uh, figure out if it's enough. We basically need a knight to figure that out. But yet yeah, those are fully charged. Everything is fully charged now. So we have given our power quite a bit of extra. Oh, and now we are using 17 megawatts. Actually, we are not. We do have 17 megawatts. But we do have 1.2 gigajoules of stored energy. Which means that we have energy stored. I don't... I don't know how this conversion works. More than... It is a conversion. It is possible to convert between joules and watts and amperes and all of that. But yeah, I... I mm, it's not my... It's not my expertise. Okay, let's... Oh! When we're up here anyway, let's have a look and see if we have any more blue... Uh, yeah, we do. Blue, packs, blue, whatever they're called. I... Yeah, doesn't matter. Processing units. Oh! Load soda. Now we are only missing electric engines. And those we have... I don't remember if we... I thought about moving them. I don't remember if I actually did move it or not. But that's something we will uh, figure out quite easily. Okay. Take it easy. And let's see. No, I didn't get it moved. I thought about moving this and the other engine uh, engines to go over here. And I still think that's a good idea, but uh, I don't know if I will be doing it. Probably I will, but definitely not this episode. We have way too many other things to take care of. But we... Oh! 50. How many do we need? We need 20. Meaning that we could do something like this. And we have enough to create this power armor. Yay! And what do we have... Oh, this is just normal armor. 
Then we need some energy shields. Actually, we would like the energy shield Mark IIs. But above all, we want this uh, portable fusion reactor, which is expensive. So let's wait with everything else until we got that fixed. Uh, and that will be fixed automatically. Oh, well, not really. But it will be fixed once we have the uh, green circuit production going in a nice, steady, really fast rate. So let's move everything to make sure that we actually can get, can speed up the production of those. And that makes me have to check what do we actually have. Oh, we have loads of trains using green circuits. Mm. Green circuits, plastic, copper plate, red, no. Green, blue, red, refueling center, okay. Okay. This one is the train that are, uh, are reloading everything, I think. Oh! That's not good, please. No, this might be really good, coming to think of it. Because that means we have loads of, uh, of stuff. Arm plate, copper plate, green circuits, refueling center. No, that's not good. I changed my mind again. It's not good. Let's uh, let's tear this down. First of all, we need to connect this line, and to do that, we need to tear this part of the build down. Actually, doing that in the middle that might be a pro. Oh, why? I don't understand why I did it like this, a small and then a long-handed inserter. Could have gone for just a long-handed insert. Oh well, I guess that I uh, am still learning how to do all of this without worrying about, uh, worrying about all the stuff that you normally have in this game, like inserters and like other stuff. Okay, so this is where we will go with the uh, oh with the rails, and I guess I need to actually build it as well before we can place any signals. Oh, that's not connected. There we go. So one signal there, and one signal, actually two signals, one here and one here. And then we have to move this a bit. And if we are placing it in a smart manner, and not the manner we had it previously, we can just move it over here. Oh, of course that's not enough space. But doing that we get inserters so we basically just have to move it one step up how are the space over here oh, we can't do that damn it oh please stop please stop I don't want you to deliver any more materials right now um, Okay, let's see. What if we what if we remove that? Yes, that train will be stuck. I don't care. Okay, copy paste. Get rid of this. Where do we get the uh, wagons? I think we can kind of do this, except that we get the ion at the um, we get the ion at the rear wagon where we got it at the front wagon before but that's not a problem actually that's kind of good let's make sure oh 
No. We are gonna move everything one step forward, we said. So that means this chest. That's... Oh no, what's happening? Oh, I know what's happening, but where? Out by the production of solar panels. That's not good. Oh, this is causing more problems than I uh, realized with the uh, with the trains. Uh, but the good thing is that I don't need to worry while while running here. I won't be overrun by a train. Okay, that's not good at all. Let's see, where are you? We need to react. We need to kill that fighter. Oh, it just destroyed the, f the assembly machine and that's it. Okay, um, do that, create accumulators please and the batteries goes in here. We kind of have it working again, but I don't like that they got in here and actually managed to destroy things. So let's put down some uh, turrets. There we go. That will do something. Maybe get the turrets destroyed instead. I don't know. Oh, by the way, we didn't look what uh, the power said for this night. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> no problems whatsoever. So we were using a bit of energy. And then, yeah, well, I don't think it did hold on for the whole night, the accumulators. No, wait, wait, wait. Do that again. Oh, this is the accumulators. Okay, so the accumulators, yeah, I think they worked the whole night. I don't know for sure, but I think they actually worked. Oh. All our trains is at a standstill. Whoops. Next time you're going by train and you are uh, getting stuck behind something, think about this. And think how easy it is to actually uh, accidentally do something like this. Because this is definitely not... I didn't mean to do it. I I did it, yes. This is an iron chest. I did it. There we go with that chest. And then we have to build everything. I did it. And it was a mistake. And yes, I have to fix it. And that's what I'm doing right now. But it's so easy to blame thing blame people and do all kinds of stuff. But it's actually really hard to get it, uh, get everything in the proper way. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, that's right. That's totally right. Okay. Um, so let's set up some inserters going to that chest. Whoops. And then let's get rid of these inserters. I'm already running over time, but uh, let's make sure that we get this uh, this setup in the new new setup instead. Oh, actually, let's keep it uh, on the right side for the moment. It might be that we should change it. Let's do that in that case. But right now, let's not touch it. Mm, we need these assembly machines to be set up over here instead. And these should of course create green circuits. Then we have this line. Let's see. Yeah, we basically need to change this line like this. And then we have long-handed inserts. Oh! It doesn't matter. We have long-handed inserters going here. 
then this is the kind of finicky bit. Not placing these. These are just for delivering iron. Uh, but we... Oh, I didn't have enough. That's fair enough. But we actually need the... Uh, still not enough, okay? But we actually need to deliver iron to this space. And that's a bit, a bit harder than expected. But we can do it. I don't know why this is uh, storing electronic circuits because I don't think it's actually using them. Okay, so let's place the next set of... Uh, Oh, this is actually kind of bad. Nah, this works. This works. I was thinking maybe we should have gone further north to be able to place it all the way to this rail. But I think this is enough. And then we have some single spaces that we can't do anything about. That's fine. There we go. And now we need... Hmm... Let's see, we need to get rid of that one, insert the uh, copper cable, and then, oh, actually copper plate, and yeah, that's it. So for that we of course need an arm chest. And now we just need power. More or less. Okay, we have power. We just need to get copper into that one. And I'm gonna do it like this. Do two inserters instead. And I'm gonna, oh, can't do that. And I'm gonna do basically the same for the iron, two inserters. Oh, and then we need output for this one, which is easy enough. Yeah. So, oh yeah, copper plate. And iron plate. There we go. Now this should be working. Why do I have chests here? I probably set them up as some way of keeping track. I forgot. Now we should have uh, this production working again, but we should be able to produce a little bit more since we have a little bit more unloading. And actually, we no, let's not do more uh, more stuff going out, because if we do, then we risk that not everything will get the uh, electronic circuits. So let's go for this right now. Oh yes, and this one, let's go to manual. And this rear wagon. Yeah, first of all, let's pick up the electronic circuits because we're not gonna use them. Oh, not from this, uh, this train at least. Okay, let's put them down over here, I guess. Electronic circuits, we can produce a whole chest. That doesn't matter. We will be using them. And then let's limit, let's cancel all of that. So limit, actually, yeah, two, two rows is fine. And then we want to limit this one to two rows with copper and one row with uh, iron. So let's do it like this. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Uh, repair packs. Where is, oh, oh, there, there. There we go. Everything repaired as well. And you, please go to automatic. And everything is, is working. And yes, we are loading up this a bit. That's totally intentional. 
Uh, and of course we are not loading up this yet, but that doesn't matter that much. Yeah, let's keep all of it. This will drain by itself. Actually, let's put like half and another half of that. Great, but I don't think this is enough. Well, let's see the resources first. Yeah, we need more resources if we really want to stress this. And if we want more resources, we basically need to get the circuit to the left. Because this will be empty soon, and this will not. But this will be empty, and that's enough to make it that uh, we have used all the resources we have. We don't need more assembly machines. Oh yes, now they will use this... Uh, these iron plates. That might be uh, an issue. Nah, we'll just load up everything. But how will we handle it if, if we want to charge everything up? Well, if we move the wagons downwards. Let's see, one. One, two, three, four between. So this is five, which means we could, if we draw it on the other side, we have this chest over here. We have this chest. Okay, let's draw it from this line. So we could do one inserter. Yes, I know it's pointing to the wrong direction. One inserter, one and one. No, we can't. Well, we could actually move this, move it like it was before and have an extra inserter when moving things over. And then we could have like three inserters for iron and three for copper to unload. But I think that this is enough for now. And if we want more we can always start a new setup over here. Over here we can actually start to set up both to the right and to the left. So I think we have what we need right now. Now let's go... No, actually we have overrun by, by about 10 minutes. So I guess this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!